a truly great product is ultimately defined by the integration of its hardware and software. Developing an iPhone with a larger and more advanced display launched one of the most significant design and engineering efforts since we introduced the original product. With a 4.7 inch display, iPhone 6 becomes taller and wider. We made the design dramatically thinner while developing a smooth, continuous surface that is comfortable to both hold and use. We're also introducing iPhone 6 Plus with a larger 5.5 inch display. And with the same continuous surfaces and seamless material transitions as iPhone 6, it's very thin. By creating iPhone 6 and iOS 8 together, we've optimized the physical design to enhance software features. The cover glass extends beyond the top surface to seamlessly join the aluminum unibody. The result is hardware and software defining a truly singular experience. You know, it's driven Apple from the beginning, this compulsion to take incredibly powerful technology and make it accessible, relevant, and ultimately personal. We've designed a range of products so personal, you don't put them on your desk or in your pocket, you wear them on your wrist. And we conceived designed and developed Apple Watch as a completely singular product. You know, you can't determine a boundary between the physical object and the software. We're introducing an unparalleled level of technical innovation combined with a design that connects with the wearer at an intimate level to both embrace individuality and inspire desire. The watch senses that you're raising your wrist and then activates the display. You see an organization of apps that, while new, is somehow familiar. Navigation is fluid and vital. Magnifying content on a small display is fundamentally important. So we've developed a whole new interface specific to the challenges associated with a product this small. The Digital Crown is a remarkable input device. It fluidly zooms into apps. It enables nimble, precise adjustment. And critically, you can use it without obstructing the display. It's also the home button. What's up guys, Everything Apple Pro here, and today, after a long overdue update, Apple has finally refreshed their iPod Touch lineup. It really has come as a surprise because I didn't expect an iPod Touch to be released without any announcement. It just came, showed up in the Apple Store, and that's it. So with this new iPod Touch come several new key changes, and they will make a difference for the iPod Touch, certainly. However, as far as the design goes, it's almost the same as the previous fifth generation iPod Touch. That really cool wrist strap feature that was present on the back of the iPod Touches is now gone. That's a feature I really regret that had to disappear, but in place of it, there come some great new changes. For one, there's a new 8 megapixel sensor on the camera. There's a new processor, the A8 chip with an M8 motion coprocessor, and overall, this thing is going to be really speedy. This is the first time an Apple A8 chip has been paired with a 4-inch display. Having a smaller display with a really powerful processor could make for a powerful punch when it comes to gaming. 
Now, as a result of that new A megapixel camera sensor, the new iPod Touch 6 generation is now capable of 120 frames per second slow motion video. Now, there's no word yet on how much RAM will be present in the new iPod Touch, but it will have the new 64-bit Apple A8 chip used in the production of the iPhone 6. And that means a 10 times faster GPU and six times faster CPU, as well as the new metal architecture, which means we could see a huge, huge bump in terms of gaming and processing ability. Now, like I said, design and display have not changed. However, there's also a new M8 motion coprocessor, which means that the iPod Touch will be the perfect device to take with you when it comes to running. No, there's no GPS, but it comes close with really accurate readings. There's also a new 802.11 AC chip in terms of a wireless on the new iPod Touch, which means you could experience up to three times faster Wi-Fi if you have an AC compatible router. Now, although we're not seeing any major hardware revisions, it's great to see that Apple's finally delivering some love to their iPod Touch series. It's been over 500 days since we've seen a significant update to the iPod Touch, not just